Well, that's coffee yogurt a la Starkey. <laughs> I hope she's not particular. Everything is quite all right. Sleepy tight, nighty night. Everything's tucked out of sight, my fair lady. I think you'd better give her that yogurt. This is awful. You've ruined it. Oh, Father, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. Oh, that will be the gardeners. Perhaps you can suggest some lovely colour combinations. I think you better answer that. I didn't realise she was quite this popular. Get away from So who am I pretending to be? You could always pretend to be the maid. Who is it? It's Brown, the gardener. Could you get Miss Bing? I'm sorry, she's very busy. You should have said that she's out. She's very busy being out. I'll leave it with you then. Would you uh, open up, please? I haven't got time to shave. Well, wrap something around your face. And I'm a fat, ugly Scotsman. Not all maids are thin, pretty and French. You've got all the bloody answers, haven't you? Just a minute! You better make sure she's out of sight. So, should I stick her in a closet somewhere? I'm afraid so. counting of all the gardening supplies. She could pay me next week. Cheerio. I'll see that she gets it. There are acts of heroism you never get a medal for, and they're some of the bravest. <laughs> I need air! Open the door! I'm suffocating! <laughs> I think you'd better let her out. No, you may not just leave her in there for a bit. I didn't say a word. Well, that's a good look for you. Suits you. You might want to shave a bit. Almighty, can't these people think for themselves? You must let me answer my messages. They won't know what to do on their own. I promise I won't put in any secret cries for help. I just need to answer. Who the hell is Prudence Holmes? You really ought to get out more, Ollie. Just let me point them in the right direction.
all right. I'm afraid she's been gone from the office for some time. Good luck. Why do I feel like a squealer? I was your friend. The only one who was nice to you. Why would you do this to me? Have you at least got a cigarette? They'll kill you, you know. Whoever told you that? Last time I managed to dig some out of the rubble, a house collapsed on me. <laughs> I nearly died. Give me some joy! I need my joy! You'll feel better soon. Ish, I think. Miss Bing? Oh, Miss Bing? It's Constable Naismith. You're busier than a one-legged man at an arse-kicking contest, aren't you? You won't fool the bobbies. They'll expect their sandwiches. I think he's getting upset. Ollie, you better talk to him. Oh, sorry, Constable. Miss Bing is not here. Well, if you don't mind, Mom, I'll make my own determination as to her localization. You no, come right in. Miss Bing? You around? You better get Miss Bing back to the closet. It's tiring work being a constable, you know. On your feet all day with hardly a sandwich to keep you going. I think he wants a sandwich. Why didn't he just say so? I'm a housemaid. I'm not the bloody cook. Our little secret. Constable, you must be so hungry. Would you like a sandwich? A sandwich? Do you know we cannot accept gifts in the line of duty? Oh, look at the time. I'll best be on my way. Now, if the tide of visitors has receded a bit, we ought to be able to talk to Miss Bing a bit. The children could stop screaming. You have to talk to them. Then they settle down for a bit. Are you mad? <laughs> Aye. We could have saved them, you know. The tanks were made of papier mache. Little Artie Hastings tore a hole in one of them. What could that possibly matter now? I suppose it doesn't. Except that's just the first lie. Then comes the victory that wasn't, and then the happy pills, and the Simon Says because the kids are all gone. You can paint loaves of bread on the shop windows all you like, but if people don't wake up, we're all going to starve to death. Please, give me my joy. Oh, I need you here with me, ma'am. Not off in Neverland with Wendy and Peter. <sighs> all right. The tanks were paper mache. The children didn't have to get on the train. Poor Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Nay, eh, she didn't. We go to City Hall, back entrance. There's a private elevator. The code is 0126. 
The date of the victory. I'll write you a letter of transit. It won't be enough. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. That's what we have to do, Ollie. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Then why would you help me? There hasn't been a baby born in Wellington Wells in 17 years. We don't talk about that. I'd forgotten that. Let's go see the executive committee. Oh. Oh. People have to know. In an hour, you horrible little man. I won't even know you exist. You have to find the letters of transit. I can't stay here. Victoria's probably run to the police already. Then hurry! Find them! Right! I'm done running around! Well, that was unexpected. Ow. But I've got a letter of transit now. I'll see the executive committee in the parade. I'll tell them the food's running out. I'll make them listen.
That's me off to bed then. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. Lovely day for it. You know, I think someone's looking for you. We've got right down I'm here with you, haven't we? Right. Say no more, down. Mr. Nice Guy. Couldn't be better, thanks. I'm terribly sorry, sir. The Executive Committee have decided to close the parade of visitors for the duration. Duration of what? They neglected to specify, sir. But I have been specifically informed that it is unrelated to the dispersion of plague. So, you may put your mind at ease in that regard. Then how the fuck am I supposed to get to the parade, you bell-headed turd? Perhaps you can dig a tunnel, sir. Good luck. Fuck's sake! It wasn't helping me anyways. Aren't there already tunnels? For the train tracks, oh sure, but there's no way past the hatch on the other side. Believe me, I've tried. Then how does the motline get to the village from the mines on Apple Home? You're right, there must be tunnels. I've no idea where. Do I have to spell it out for you? Dr. Faraday! Oh, yes, she designed the motline floor system. Oh, she's got to have the blueprints for the motline tunnels. Bravo, Ollie. One day you won't need me anymore. Don't you start talking nonsense, lassie. <laughs> 
I'll go see Dr. Faraday. So the parade's locked up tighter than a vicar's bumhole. Lovely. But there's the Mortaline tunnels. Dr. Faraday has to have a map. Maybe she'll let me make a copy. I'm now arrived, thanks to the gods, through pathways rough and muddy. A certain sign that making roads is not this people's study. Now... Tinkering, that's a thing I know. I could do this in the dark. I think I have. Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. Something wrong with your knees? That's right. the last time you that do that around it. here. That's it. Keep running. You're going to get why you think I see that killer. Over there. He wants to sign. Careful. You know how there's all that joy gas in there? It's going to make you throw up. You better wear a gas mask. You know what joy does to you. This is what we train for.
I hope I don't throw up. Simon says, step on one lit platform. Take a flying fuck at the moon. Wait, I didn't say Simon. Ollie! There's no one here but us Raven. Fantastic! You did it! Here's some joy. You can ne never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Yeah. Simon says, step on two platforms. Simon says, go drown yourself in the river. Fantastic. Here's some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Step on three lit platforms. <laughs> I didn't say Simon Says. Yeah. Now, Simon Says, step on three lit platforms. Back in your mouth, funny, you wank sting. Fantastic, you did it. Here's yeah. some joy. You can never have too much joy, can you? Happiness is a choice. Now, for the last challenge, Simon says, step on all the lit platforms. Act two and match. Your head. You're the first wee dick that's ever made me long for the real Jack. Be sure to enjoy your day.
Go forth and sin no more. There's some would say property is theft. Smells like someone cleaned every surface with mortaline. Good thing I didn't smoke anymore. back here without all those disagreements. Everything's coming up roses. All right. I've noticed an odd thing. On the roof across from my bedroom, I've noticed an awful lot of chickens. <laughs> they just fly up there and watch me through my open window. The peculiar thing is, they're all black. Lovely day for it. Where do you think you're going? There's no visitors for the two recreants in there. Mr. Maxwell and Mr. Bacon are under house arrest. Kindly evaporate! Oi! Have a paint for me. We are not accustomed to such generosity on the part of the populace. Take your joy, Kitty. 
Of course I still don't. Thank God! We've been cooped up there forever. Absence makes the heart grow fonder, but there's been an absence of absence, I'm afraid. James! You don't have to air our dirty laundry to every stranger that passes by. If you do the wash, we wouldn't have so much... Anyway, this is Ollie Starkey. Who's he when he's at home? We serve together at Ramsgate. Oh, Ramsgate. Sorry to intrude. Jealousy doesn't look good on you, Roger. You wouldn't happen to ken the whereabouts of Dr. Faraday? Not actually sure. She was always talking about making a portal in the universe. It sounds ridiculous, but, 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 but Roger says, well, we're a little worried she succeeded. Don't tell anyone. If she has gone for good, we're out of work. I was sort of hoping... Well, she designed the mortaline pipes under the city, didn't she? Oh, yes. That was one of the first things she did on her own, after Mr. Faraday went on holiday. You're not going down into those tunnels, are you? It's like tangled hair down there. You know, like what's in the shower drain because certain people don't clean it. I was hoping there might be uh, blueprints. There must be, but the place is such a mess and she blew it up. The bobbies won't even let us downstairs to water the plants. If Dr. F comes back and they're all dead, we'll never hear the end of it. Oh, that's too bad. Ollie, they want you to do it. Well, then why didn't they... I could water them for you. Oh, would you? We could try and dig up your plans while you do. Once again, the heroes of Ramsgate save the nation. I am hearing you. I'm listening very carefully. That's how I know you I'm take your joy immediately. You can take your joy immediately. <laughs> Now, tinkering, that's a thing I know. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We'll make a gardener of you yet. You'll take your joy immediately. I think we found your blueprints. Brilliant. Give us a look then. The thing is, 
We need someone to pollinate the flowers down there. Pollinate? Is your bum out the window? You can't expect a soldier to know about flowers, James. Well, we can't go down there, can we? It's my bee cannon. It's her bee cannon? Well, she made it for me. I thought you were worried about pollinating the plant. All right, fine. Here's the bee cannon. You'll love it. It's got cannon in its name. What am I to do with that? Just find some bees, suck them up, go to the flowers, spit them out. I'll do my best. Bees. There's no bloody bees in the village. Ah, oh, damn it, it's back to the garden district, isn't it? <laughs>